Hi there and welcome to an Altos tutorial. Having an Altos account isn't just about having access to reports. It's about having access to data. So your Altos account allows you access to various components that you can integrate into your business. Now, chances are you've watched a tutorial regarding your market reports, getting those market reports in front of your clients. Well, what if you have a website? What if you have a blog? Maybe you're doing outbound direct mail pieces or even e-newsletters. Using your Altos account, you can integrate market data and provide a valuable resource for your clients. It's pretty simple, but there's a lot that you can do. Looking at your account, looking at the reports page, this is where we house all of the locations that are within your account. Now, each one of your locations has its own embed button. This embed button allows you access to image files, lead forms, search fields, so you may not even know. So let's go ahead and say, we're gonna create, we need a, an object for uh, Anaheim, California. So you locate the location that you want and you click on embed, which brings up a wizard. You'll see the first tab is images and images allow you just that. So whether you want a physical image, right? So you're gonna do a direct mail piece or you want an image link Maybe you want to embed a link in your signature that when on click will load things like median list price chart. Anytime somebody clicks on that link, the latest version of that piece of data is always provided. In addition to that, you have HTML. The HTML will allow you to embed said image into a web page so that it's fully loaded once your prospects navigate your website. What's even better is that once you implement it, it's hands off. We update those image files every week so that you always have the latest and greatest on your website. Now take it a step further. The HTML image is also a clickable object. So on click of median list, if you have this on your website, we'll load the full version of your report. They can choose to subscribe and <clears throat> the workflow is outstanding. Okay, so let's talk about what you have access to because it's not just median list price. Okay, um, you have chart, you have single family homes or condos, you have different sizes that you can create. Again, if you're going to use print, perfect. Median list price and then select that and you've got all of those different statistics available to you. Okay, segments. So if you've participated in other tutorials or you're aware of our segments, great. It allows you to see the data in a different view where we take all of the active inventory, list it from most expensive to least expensive, and then divide it into four equal segments of inventory. Top 25% most expensive inventory available, least expensive down here with the red line. Okay, this is a great image if you'd like to use that. Now, if we want to go ahead and say, okay, What's the market action index for each of those um, segments? How's the market? Greater than 30, it's a seller's market. So you'll see here, all of these are greater, but of course, those least expensive homes are up here, right? <clears throat> so if this is the image file you'd like to use, how would you like to use it? Download the image file, it's a JPEG, pretty straightforward and easy. Copy image link, okay? Or copy image HTML. You'll see the two here as well. So this is the HTML and this is the link. So what we can do is copy, copy that image link and we go to a new browser window and we paste it so you can see it rendered. So anytime somebody clicks on that link, here's this nice image, right? And you can constrain it. So, um, but this is the, the link. So the intention here is that this is a nice printable version, right? <clears throat> So that's copy image link. Now, going back to that same embed, we talked about charts. Again, download the image, copy image link, copy image HTML. Now, come up here and you also have access to the market pro profile image. Select that. And this is really great. This is the real-time market profile extracted from the report. What I love about this is that it is um, a small image that has a ton of data. 
It has all the most important statistics. And if you can recall, these are small spark lines that represent three months worth of data so that when you're looking at the data itself, you have some sort of comparison. Again, though, download image file. So the image file is a standalone file that you can put on a postcard. Imagine being able to put this on a postcard. It takes up little space, provides a punch, right? Um, copy image link if you want a clickable on click load image and then copy image HTML if you'd like it embedded. And so just like that chart, if you choose to embed the image onto a web page, on click of that image will load the full version of the report and again they can choose to subscribe. That workflow works really well. In addition to that, come up here and you'll see that you've got the market action index. So the market action index is again answering that question, how's the market? Is it a buyer's market or a seller's market? So this is a really great image because it's pretty straightforward. 52 is greater than 30. We know that the seller's a market. It indicates it because it's highlighted. It shows you here and it shows you last month. So is it hotter? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so do you want this as an image file, right? A standalone file, download image. Do you want this on click, load image, copy image link? Do you want to embed this? Copy image HTML. Same idea, on click of that embedded image will load the full version of that report. Okay, so this is a really great one too. Um, so that's that. Now, in addition, you can also go to advanced. Our advanced allows you access to a ton of data, and there's a separate tutorial for that, but you can go ahead and play with this. Allows you to have two statistics. You can choose to have the segments. You can choose to have a segment, um, but you do have access to a ton of data here. So definitely look for that tutorial if you're interested in advanced statistics as you'll see the list here is very long, okay? All right, going back to images here, go back to chart. So again, you've got a variety of different images that you can integrate into various things within your business, so it's really great. So don't forget that you have access to that. It's not just about those market reports. Now, another thing you have access to when you click on that embed is the lead form. The lead form is basically just a, a form to fill out to request a market report. So if we click on lead form, it's pretty straightforward. So you want to create a link that on click loads the form. They fill it out, right? So you decide those that fill out the form will receive what campaign email. <clears throat> so all of your campaigns will be displayed here. Okay, so you can say, all right, new client default. Click all reports so that all of the reports that you subscribe to will be available to anybody who's requesting a report. You can take this link, which is on click load report or load form, <clears throat> or show embed code. Again, you can embed the form into a web page so that it's kind of seamless, right? Or on click load the form. So it's up to you. Again, if you want a clickable link versus embedded into a page. So if we copy this link and we go to a new browser and we go ahead, paste it, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It integrates your customization for your reports and all of your reports are here. When someone fills out this form, the information is sent to your contact database as a new lead. And remember, we've programmed this to be automatically added to the new client default campaign. You can also create many versions of this, each one routing to a different campaign. It really allows you to manage any leads that might be coming from various sources. Okay. So that is the lead form. Now, if we choose to go back to embed, another option that you have is a search box. And this is relatively new. So if you weren't familiar with this, if you click on search box, you'll see that you can actually add a box to your website that just allows someone to come in and search anywhere that we, we have data for. So we'll go ahead, copy that link. We'll go here and you can see what that looks like. 
on click you can load a page that just says this and if you want to build around it you can see the latest market conditions so we say Los Gatos search report dun, 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 dun. it's that easy so what if you wanted that within your website you can do it you click here click on search box and if you wanted to again embed it into a page versus be on click load right show embed code that's all you need so imagine creating a space on your website that's how's the market and you have the search box as well as additional data on your website that gives some answer to the question how's the market to give you some examples just so that you can kind of see it in action I've got <clears throat> two loaded we'll come here and you'll see great so this website has integrated that market action index image okay on click it loads the report and then here it's just clickable links to the each each individual report so you can do that as well if you want to go ahead and integrate it into your website super simple each one of your reports has a unique URL you can program that within your website to be on click load report okay and then you can subscribe to Altos reports so this is a very simple thing that you can set up on your website that answers the question how's the market okay in addition to that you can change it up here is an example of somebody who has a how's the market tab on click it takes you to the various locations what they've done is they've put a unique image for each of those locations when you click on it it allows them the real-time market report so on click of that loads the report okay pretty easy and then if I'm looking at the report I can easily go up click on subscribe when you do that you can go ahead and see you can add information the information added here is then sent to your Altos contact database new lead so it really is a great workflow so the way that they've incorporated it is again you have an image on click then you've got two options he does a little um, five minute overview via video which is pretty cool so you can do that too okay now what if this is something that you wanted to do you wanted to have the ability to just have links on your website maybe even if on a sidebar right where you say okay market reports and you list your locations super simple you can come back to your account we'll close out of this and now you'll see here all of your reports and you'll see a link because each one has its own unique URL you're going to create hyperlinks on your website so you would write out Atherton California and then on the back end of that hyperlink would be this code okay the HTML I mean the the link okay but I have a secret so what you can do is you can download the entire list of locations you have and all of the links associated to them so if you click on download report links select it you'll see here that you got all of you have all of your locations and you've got the report link for single-family homes and this is a report link for condos so this is would be the default load so on click it will load the condo report automatically versus um, the single-family home so you could provide this to your webmaster if you've got one and have all of those links instead of having to go one at a time click 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 download all report links and that way you have access to all of those links and easily create a page within your website so that's pretty exciting stuff okay so hopefully this is, this has been helpful understanding that yes you've got these great market reports yes you want to get them in front of your clients but there's plenty of other ways that you can in integrate the data into your business and I really um, hope you'll do that I uh, hope you found this helpful and I look forward to having you watch another tutorial have a good one